What's up guys, it's Double Winning, and today we have episode 7 of How to Get Out of Elo Hell? Maybe episode 6? I'm not really sure. Um, this episode is about not playing on tilt. Uh, if you guys don't know what tilt is, it's basically where you've been doing poorly and it starts to affect how you play. Um, tilt can come from a variety of things, whether you get outplayed by a player that's better than you, and then you just get frustrated and you really want to get back to lane and kill them as quickly as possible, or whether you have teammates who you believe shouldn't be at the ELO they're at, and they're not playing to uh, what you believe the ELO standard is, and so you get frustrated and you feel that, you know, you're the only one that can carry them, so you try your super hardest, but by try your super hardest, you just end up, you know, frying your brain cells and not being able to play at your top performance. Um, this game in particular, and it can also, it, it can also come in from a variety of different things, and it's kind of a dual, dual meaning. Like, there's tilt that you can be put on, and then there's just playing, um, kind of on a natural tilt. A natural tilt would be, if you play, if you have to go to the restroom, if you play, if you're really tired, if you play, you know, um, when you just woke up, if you play your first game of the day, um, you'll make little mistakes. And like right there, I knew I wasn't going to catch up to Cassidy, but yet I still walked up at eight, you know, a Q right to the face. Um, things like that. And you'll see it. I make a ton of mistakes and it ends up putting the enemy team on a snowball and we end up losing this game. I can let you know that because this video is going to be pretty short. Um, and it's just a really simple tip on how to get out of ELO hell. If you're on tilt, don't play ranked. Play normals. There's nothing wrong with playing normals. Use the time in normals to start to learn learn a new champion, okay? Because um, in my next How to Get Out of Elo uh, Hell video, we're actually going to be talking about champion pools. And so, if you're on tilt, which that is needs to be something that you can recognize yourself, don't play ranked. Instead, just go play some normals. Either refine your mechanics on a champion... Or just, uh, you know, start to learn a new champion. So, as you, like, as you guys can see right there, if I was at my prime, I would never would have tried to do that play there. Plus, I used barrier to stop a Q. You can tell it was pretty late when I played this game. Um, and the worst part is, I had a lot riding, uh, riding on the line of this. I actually, uh, um, this is my promotion series. And as you can see here, the Rumble and the Jarvan both... Jarvan said he hasn't played jungle in a long time, and Rumble said he was really tired. So let's see what happens. And that's kind of where the game ends. Um, J Darius keeps going on a rampage. Um, Rumble keeps... I mean, uh, Cassidy just keeps dunking on me. And then they roam bottom, and they sweep up them as well. And so that's an unfortunate, you know, two lanes dumpster on people that are on tilt. And this could have been solved by me just playing in normals. And maybe I would have been, uh, been promoted instead of, uh, dropping back down again. So that's my tip for this episode of how to get out of Elo Hell. And that's just don't play on tilt. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'd really like to know if these videos are helping you at all. Sometimes I have people message me and say, you know, these How to Get Out of Hilo Hell guides have really helped me out. Post in the comments if they've helped you. And if uh, they haven't, I'm sorry. And, you know, if you really liked the videos, just be sure to share them with your friends. Um, Facebook, Twitter, uh, whatever social media you use. And as always, guys, stay classy and keep winning.